Heads or tails? As far as appendages go, tails are pretty much amazing. Over time, different animals have evolved various highly specialized tails. A horse uses its tail to swat flies, for instance, while a bird uses its tail to steer during flight. Which leads us to today's question. If these specialized limbs are so useful, why don't humans have them? Why don't people, you, me, David Hasselhoff, have tails? Well, there are two answers. First, we don't really need them. In many quadrupedal or four-legged creatures, like a cat for example, a tail helps with balance. Fish and marine mammals on the other hand, or on the other fin, I guess, use their tails for steering or locomotion. Some lizards and primates use their prehensile tails to grip things, while crocodiles store fat in their tails, kind of similar to the way camels store fat reserves in their humps. But let's look at humans. We're bipedal, meaning we walk on two legs, so our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. And unlike some other primates, we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't regularly Tarzan our way around the forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. But here's the second answer. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Come on, Kristen, I may not be a doctor, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a tail. All mammals have a tail at some point in development. When you were about 30 days old in the womb, you had a tail-like structure sprouting out of your body. If you're like most people, you reabsorb this structure as you developed. Now, it's extremely rare, but a few modern people have been born with actual tails. This is what's called an atavism, a trait of distant ancestors that reappears in modern day. Now, usually these tails are just a few centimeters long and often are removed shortly after birth. And that's all there is to the tail? Come on, guys, who writes this stuff? Ugh. Anywho, Thanks for watching. Do you think tails are cool? Would you want one? Do you have one? Let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a moment of brain stuff.